So for this, we'll start the wash, and I'm on a tilt of about 30 degrees, and I'm going to mix up a dulled down blue with the French ultramarine, and uh, put a little bit of the rose to purple it, and then add just a touch of yellow to dull it down some more. And I make a ton of this color with lots of water. And I'll pull this blue down to the top third of the page. Keep my nice bead forming. And stop it about a third of the way down and switch to the gold. And this is just really watered down gold. Give me that feeling of light going through the middle of the woods here. And then for the bottom half of the page or so, I'll go to more of a purple color. Still heavier on the blue, and then I'll gray it with a bit of yellow. I don't want it to be too warm of a color, so not too much rose. And I'll let it get a little darker towards the bottom to help give a sense of depth. So after that's fully dry, I'm going to start with those background trees. So I want to mix a very grayed down green. So if you mix some French ultramarine with the gold and add a bit of rose that will dull it down. And then I want my brush to sort of scratch the paint on in a loose and sort of wild way to make more organic shapes. So I sort of swirl it around to break it up. And I'm careful to keep some sky holes. And I'm gonna paint around the trunks of the trees. So this is just a soft background layer. So I'm making sure some things are connected and it becomes more dense as it goes towards the bottom. And there I'm filling in that area above the pathway. That's where we want the most contrast to be for our little focal point of the light coming through. And while the paint's still wet, I'm going to mix in some of the warm greens that go through that middle area, the patch of light. And that's just heavier on the gold, just a little bit of blue. And it works nicely if you get that while the other paint is still wet and then it just kind of blends into there. So 
So now I'm making a really uh, darker green. And I'm spritzing the area. I thought this area looked like it had some water or something behind it, so I wanted to make kind of a soft reflection like those trees are floating down. So I'm using the red, scarlet red, to dull down that green and get dark, warm colors. And so if you hold your brush upside down and drip it into the paint, you get those kind of soft reflections. So now I'm going to start pulling in some more of the land, building that up a bit in the foreground. And that's kind of with that grayed down purple mix again. And I keep lifting off that area where the pathway is as I'm going. I don't want to lose that pathway. So just softening edges. And flicking a little bit of water into it, trying to get some textures going in there. So I'll add the other side of the hill, and I'm still painting around the tree trunks. And I keep mopping up that path as I go. So just to blend in these darks on the other side, I spritz the top area, let some of that float up into there. So I let all of that dry, and then I'll start putting in the trunks of the trees, and that's kind of that grayed down purple again. And so I just pull up this trunk and leave a little highlight. And add some shadows. Just darken the mix. It's that French ultramarine rose, and then put in the yellow to turn it dark. I'm just kind of trying to keep these from getting too heavy and dark since they're far away. So I'm just gently scraping the paint on here and keeping some highlights. Sort of slowly shaping these trees.
So then I'm going to pull on one more wash to build up a little bit more contrast here in the foreground. Add some more textures into the ground. And this is with sort of purples and blues grayed down. And tap on some color. Try to let it paint itself a bit. Add some textures up into the other side. dry that all the way and I'll put in some shadow under this tree. this long dagger brush, I'm going to add some branches, some finer twigs. So I'll make some more dark. Swing in these nice little shapes. these little branches coming out off of this tree here. And now I'm going to put some of those dark greens. And I'll use the phthalo to get first bright green and then I'll put the red into it so it dulls down a bit. So these ones, I'm misting them a little bit. I haven't gotten to my darkest darks yet, so. So I'm not covering the whole area. Just need to put in some patches here and there.
just filling in some darks. Adding textures. So now I'm going to add some darker greens on top of there. just to try to tie it together a bit. And then just blot it and mist it when it starts looking overdone. So I'm building up the darks a little bit over in here where the path is lightest to keep the contrast a little stronger. This is some more grayed down green, really gray. Get some more contrast going over on my tree. Need a little bit more darks. So just going around and filling in those greens a little bit more, just in some patches. And then I'm going to put in some long verticals coming up through the page. And that's using that dagger brush, just mix in some darks.
balance it with a couple on the other side. And just a little fine tuning and that is about it for this one.